Hi, my name is Dino, and I'm a sales associate here at Rancho Ford in Temecula. And if you're looking for a quality, very comfortable vehicle, this one we're in particular we're looking at is a 2014 Ford Fusion Energy. Uh, a lot of technology is built into this. This has the highest gas mileage slash energy co combination in its class. In particular, if you look at the lines of the car, it's aerodynamic, so there's very little drag from front to rear. Interesting feature on this car that all Fords are equipped with is a gas capless fuel tank. Okay, there is no gas cap on this. You push the nozzle in, and that's it. You fill up. No more worrying about your nozzle. Okay, I'm going to turn on the engine. It's a push start. And the engine is actually on. You hear no noise whatsoever. Another interesting feature is parking assist here. This is this is awesome. I, I this is this is great. I mean, only a few car makers are doing this, and they're usually the high-priced ones. Okay, this will actually park the car for you and give you instructions on how to brake and uh, and depress the gas pedal when needed. Here's your uh, for your gas, you know, to fill fuel into the car. You can press this to to unlock the rear uh, fuel door. This here is interesting because you can push this button. This is EV, meaning electric vehicle, where you can just run in the city on 100% electricity. Okay, I want to talk about a, a, the last feature, and it's a really, really neat feature. It's called adaptive cruise control. And long gone the days where you had your uh, speed set, and then somebody pulls in front of you, and you have to panic to, pray, uh, to hit the brake or dislodge it uh, from hitting uh, resume or set all over. You don't have to do that anymore. This will sense when somebody violates your space in the front and you're at 65 mile an hour, it will automatically brake for you. You don't have to worry about panicking. And then if you decide to move, your space, if you wanted to move from the lane that the person moved in front of, your speed would resume back to the set course. A, a smart control or an intuitive control. Uh, let's say your, your remote is dead. There's two ways to open the car. From, from the panel here, you have a code that comes with uh, with the car, whoever buys one. Um, you can put in your code, or you can even lock it by pressing the last two down here. You can automatically lock it, and then with your code, you can just hit 